Obviously, this is a crucial meeting between Presidents Biden and President Xi, uh, an opportunity uh, for the two big powers uh, to meet and confer on some of the big issues that we are all confronting. And there's no shortage of challenges in the global economy right now. Uh, counterpart counterparts here are expecting a bumpy ride in the global economy. Uh, the conditions are uh, high risk uh, and they are volatile. And so uh, the more engagement that we can see uh, between the Americans and the Chinese, the better. What does it tell you, though, when we understand that we should not be expecting a final statement out of that meeting? Similarly, out of uh, the G20 summit, unlikely we're going to get a final communique. Well, there's a lot of pressure on the G20 right now, a lot of pressure on the multilateral system. I think primarily that comes from Russia's uh, immoral, illegal war in Ukraine, uh, which is uh, not just putting pressure uh, on global energy markets, which is the most important consequence, but also putting pressure on our ability to come to collective solutions in my own uh, finance track and no doubt in the leaders track as well. Yeah. Uh, the war in Ukraine hangs over the discussions here. Uh, and so any progress that can be made in that context is welcome. So, uh, with regards to Ukraine, the United Nations, as we speak, is negotiating with Russia to try and extend this grain access deal to get stuff like wheat and corn much needed to feed the rest of the world out of the Black Sea and out of the Black Sea safely as well. Uh, Russia, or rather President Putin, though, has been a little erratic on that deal. Are we in? Are we out? It changes by the day. How confident are you that this deal can get extended? Well, we need to see progress on this deal. You know, the defining challenge in the global economy uh, is uh, high energy prices, but food insecurity is a big part of the story as well, as is the slowdown in China. And when you combine those three factors together, you can see why we've all got some version of an inflation problem and rising interest rates as well. So the whole world has an interest in making progress here when it comes to food security, uh, whether it's this deal or more broadly, and that's been an important part of the discussions here.